and it's done by. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Fireworks. Hey, hey, hey. What up, guys? A few hours earlier, I was asking on a live stream, where should I eat? And this is the suggestion I got. Yeah, I think that's the move because uh, a lot of people mention that. And the friends that I'm talking to you about, I met up with them the last two times and they always, they always ask me, hey, Doug, did you check out the Palms of Buffet? I'm like, no, I haven't gone there yet because I'm scared to wait in line. However, tonight's the night. Let's do it. I've never been inclined to check this lobster buffet out before because of the horrendous wait times of two, three, four hours. I'm not a huge lobster person, but uh, I do order it on occasion. And I am capable of enjoying a good lobster buffet. I got lucky here today because there's a brand new waitlist system that doesn't require two, three, four hours of waiting in line. Diamond and, and above entrance, so you have a little VIP access if you have these uh, statuses. Palms is currently offering a tier match program into their Club Serrano for new accounts only. Lobster Night Buffet is $64.99. And keep in mind, they open at 2 p.m. for lobster buffets on Wednesdays. So come before 5 p.m. to avoid the dinner rush. All right, y'all. So this is the process here. That's the all you can, all you can eat buffet there. Right here, you sign up first. So you go there, you line up here. Okay, and then you sign up. You tell her, hey, such and such. And they'll text you when you're ready, when they're ready to have you in their line. So there's another line on the other side. Let me show you. And then, so once you're at the line, you're gonna wait maybe 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 40 minutes, just depending on the situation. Like for example, now there's practically no wait here on this popular Wednesday, lobster night. There's a crab night on Thursdays, which I'll show you a little glimpse of later on in this video. So you got you, you got to show up in person, sign up and then they'll hit you up once they're ready to put you in a line you know so you sign up over there they'll hit you up and then you wait your enlist line here oh and those are my friends davis aka skittles and trina all right y'all we're now inside and it took about 15 minutes from the time they texted us to for us to pay and get into this position and i signed up for the wait list at 4 30 and they texted us by five o'clock this is the closest station to the entrance so uh, don't get too excited here. It's a salad, which I love salad. Oh, that looks good. Oh, I gotta do some kimchi check later. Kimchi check. Wardoff salad, which is basically celery and apples and mayo. Asian coleslaw, strawberry spinach, beet salad, loaded potato salad, pasta salad, and shrimp agua chili. Chilled snow crab legs. Oh yeah, these shrimps look delicious. Clam chowder soup. This is spicy drawn butter, so it's a spicy one, and next to it is just drawn butter. I wonder if that's a legit, real, authentic butter. Some cheese and chikuri board. I guess it's the mirror on the other side. Some shrimp, snow crab legs, and assortment of toppings. 
and various salad dressings, including a blueberry one. Yum. Now that it's past 515, it's getting a little crowded. People are lining up and it says 395 maximum capacity, but on their website, it says 250 seating, which in comparison, Bacchanal has about 600 seats. Roastery and a whole bunch of other stuff that way, but let's start off reverse. The dessert section is back here. Let's go desserts and run it back the other way. All right, y'all. They got some dough up here. Peach cobbler, apple cobbler, some kind of a brownie situation here, but a bunch of cobblers here. I'm not quite sure why, but I always prefer the pie version instead of the cobbler version. How about you? Comment below. Let us know. Dessert toppings, including jelly beans and M&Ms. They got Jolly Rock juice. Right? You good? Oh, I'm good, yeah. Thank you. How are you? How's your day today, sir? Good, how are you? You're doing a tremendous job, brother. Thank you. Keep it up. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, the pies all look good here. And yes, the pies were good. I like the idea that you asked them to get it so they stay fresh in the in the free, in the refrigerator here, right? Because other places they'll just have it laid out, but this one you asked and it's fresh in here. Some Jolly Ranchers if you want it. All right, and just assortment of stuff. Some cannoli here. So this includes the dessert section. It seems like uh, they got all the essentials. You saw some Jolly Ranchers. I've never seen that at a buffet spot, but uh, I'm gonna get some of that, definitely. Come on, let's check out the other spots. We're going back in reverse. All right, this is smoke and fired. Beans, green rice, and some corn. Uh, this is the Mexican section here coming up. Including smoked beef brisket. Some tacos and tortillas and various taco toppings including hot sauces and salsas. Ooh wee. Yep, that was a smoke and fire section. Let's move on. They'll cook you some noodles here and pasta. Don't be in pasta. Order some pasta. Create your own pasta station. Uh, no thank you. I'm here for the lobster. Pizza. Ooh, we. I love olives on pizza, so that looks delicious. These green beans were delicious. You got some corn, you got some salmon, but when I saw the lobster, my camera went straight to there. This is first of two lobster stations. <laughs> This is one at a time or two at a time? Uh, uh, one at a time. Nice. One each. Nice. And you can go in and you can come back. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, hi. Wow. Only on Wednesdays, guys, huh? Yes, Wednesday. Good, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So, it's kind of hidden. I was, it was, 
there's no line. That's a lobster line here. You get one at a time, one of each and whatnot. Walk out, pick it up. Here's some uh, some pineapple. Oh wow, this corn on the cob looks delicious, but uh, stay focused. I'm not gonna do it. Hey, check it out. They got lechon here for you guys. All my Filipino friends, hello. This is jalapeno mac and cheese, and that little kick made the world of a difference. It was delicious. Some herb chicken butter. Some large ass meatballs. I'm gonna pass on this because I gotta stay focused on the lobster. Grilled barramundi fish in bok choy sauce. Looks delicious, but I'm gonna pass. Gotta stay focused, focused on the prize. Oh, this is the Asian section here. Or this might be Hawaiian. Hey, Jono, you might want some of this? I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. What up, Jono? Seaweed and some poke. Poke? Am I saying that right? I'm not sure. Let me know. Comment below. Oops, I passed the sushi roll and the Asian fried rice section because I saw the lobsters here. My camera just went directly here. Remember, eye on the prize, and this is lobster station number two. And I suggest coming to this one because this one also offers you warm, Crab legs. The lines are real quick. And then if you need a revival, you come over here. Oh, this is something I haven't seen at a buffet. Jackfruit coconut curry. Roasted Brussels sprouts. More vegetarian options. This is crispy tofu, some pita bread, forbidden rice, and chop suey. Wake up. Hummus, tabula, fatush, fatush salad, and uh, baba kanush. Food selection is not as extensive as Wim Buffet or Bacchanal. However, you won't go hungry. They do have all the essentials. All right, let the lobster feast begin. Amen. This is the type of dinner, guys. We're gonna just eat, not much talking here. It's all about the food right now. Oh, this one. Here, let me take a bite of this right now. This is the some butter on top. Ooh. It's been a while since I had lobster. I don't know how to eat this. Wow. You just bite the tail. Just a tail might be the move. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd be beyond this. Yeah. Because you got to deal with all. Yeah. Both the meat inside these parts are not that good anymore. Yeah, right. Oh. It might be a little bit. Guys, this is the move, I think, so far. Mm. Easy to eat. Yeah. I thought this was interesting. A strawberry spinach salad. Wow. Tastes like spinach strawberry jam salad. This is tasty. Not too sweet, just a hint of strawberry in there. I've never used that contraption before. I'll show you on one of these legs. Oh. Cracked. And once it's kind of cracked up like that. Yeah. You 
you got a piece there. Okay. To pull that out. Pull that out. So at what point do you use that? So that example. Oh really? That example? Alright. Take two guys. This is a take two situation. <laughs> you see how this part is soft? It can't yeah. crack. So okay. what you do? Oh when it doesn't crack. Yeah, or the skinnier ones. Right. So you take the pointy side and you kinda of go in there and you just ah, do that. It's like a zipper. You know, I'm zipping it. Yeah. And then what you can do is there's the flat part here. Kinda of use that. Ah and you pull all the meat. Right there, just like that guys. Just like that. All up in your mouth. Just, I, I usually use my chopsticks, but I don't have my chopsticks you, here. You just push oh. it up. Nice. And then you have the crab. You yeah. eat it up. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Guys, I'll take a bite of this crab here. Crab is good. It's definitely better than the one served at Wind Buffet. It's not as salty as theirs. And it's on par with uh, Bacchanal's crabs when they're on their good day. I'm too lazy to, I'm just gonna eat the whole thing, guys. I've removed the head this time around because it scorched too much. Shrimp is tasty and juicy, but it's not on the level of the one served at Bacchanal. When Bacchanal is having a good day, their shrimps are unbeatable. Ooh -wee. Check out my Bacchanal video, link in the description box below. Alright, these lobsters look bright and delicious, but on the inside their meat is a little bit on the rubbery side. Next time, I'm focusing more on the lobster tails. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Check this out guys. Ooh, all that goodies. I wish I had a bowl of rice. Oh. Could eat them. Is that an egg right there? Yeah. It's a good guts. Or it might be poop. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> I just ate some. Does it taste like poop? I don't know. I don't know what poop tastes like. Oh, uh, Skittles. Oh, guess, guess who I'm dining with, guys? Hey, put a thumb in there, guys. <laughs> wow. wow. Skittles and tree nuts. <laughs> 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 Action shot right there, guys. <laughs> so what's that stuff right there? Why don't you taste it and let us know? <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah, you okay? You sure? I'm sh I'm it's spinach. This must have been a vegetarian <laughs> lobster. I am sure I don't, don't want any of that. Damn, he's going the old school style. Crack that tail open. Oh, there you go. Damn, look at that. You know, technically, he didn't have to go that route, but he just wants to show, show off his technique, strength, you want that arm piece. strength. That you should check out his uh, forearms, guys. Do you guys want to see it? Do you rock climb? <laughs> hey, Skittles, do you rock climb or something? What do you do? I do, I do. <laughs> well, that's a beast. Yeah, all right, thank you. Yeah, all right, thank you. Yeah, all right, thank you. <laughs> was scared to taste what that green stuff was but I'll go at it let's go while I chew on this slightly rubbery lobster tail with possible poop at the end if you're still watching this please push that like button and comment feel free to ask any Vegas related questions I'm more than happy to answer them and please subscribe Thank you. Guys, the flavor is definitely here, but um, just get the, just get the tail, I think. It's easier to eat. Not that this is hard. And plus this is softer, a little bit more 
elevated flavor. The tail here and the skills will say the same thing. It's a little bit more tame, uh, tough. Maybe it's the way they cook it or whatnot, but plus we don't want to work for this. This one's just ready to go. I've had lobster at an all-you-can-eat place that many times, but this is by far the best one I've had at an all-you-can-eat place. This one's very comparable at, let me put it this way, this one's better than a lot of lobster I had at regular restaurants. Yeah, this is good. So, I'm not sure what this is, but it came, I dug it out, and let's just taste it, guys. It might be just brains. Oh, that's an eggs. Oh, it is? Yeah. Eggs are in the head, huh? Wow. Eggs, brains, whatever. Some tacos. Do you miss LA? I do, that's why I got yeah. this. <laughs> oh, that smells good. Got a little lechon piece here. And I think the move here, guys, is just a lobster tail. This is, I didn't put any butter on this, it's straight up. I think that's the move. It's ready to go and just bite into it. Yeah, a little lechon action here. Wow. I like the one at Bacchanal, but I love this one. This is better than the one at Bacchanal. This, the skin, it breaks like a cracker and soft on the inside. Nice. Yeah, let's see how, uh, looks good. Ooh, why is there a lot of And tastes good. Okay. It's better than Wynn, it's better than Bacchanal. It's not better than South Point, the prime rib. Noticeably, substantially better than the one at Bacchanal and Wynn Buffet. More tender, more flavor, full. Ooh wee! Yeah, very good. On this, right? Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. Say that again? What's, what'd you say? You called me out. This, this is a one take situation no, right here. It's a one take situation, right? See? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what happened there, son? Yo, what happened? What happened? Hold on. Take two? <laughs> Damn, hey, man. What channel do you think this is? It is a lot of pressure, man. What kind of channel is this? Chino, what is this channel called? One, one, take, one, take, one take situation. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what, are, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Did you give up? What's no, going no, on no. here? Right. What the hell was he just doing? What you do is you uh, break it down the middle. Alright. And then you pull it. Uh, oh. Alright, but you don't want to pull this part yet. Okay. Because this part is attached to this. So you pull this, and you see? See how it pulls whatever? That holds all the meat in. Oh. So the, then the ligament. Thing. So then you just go. What's up? Look at that pretty hair. Do you like that hair, guys? What's up? What's up? Wow. All right. Uh, you're alive. <laughs> Thank you so much. And by the way, our table service was awesome. One tail, please. Thank you. All right, y'all. I picked this pizza up because it just got rolled in. You know me, I used to work at Pizza Hut, so whenever I see that action happening, I gotta get me a piece. Here we go. Oh yeah, this works. It's good for a buffet. It reminds me of the pizza served in the 1980s in your local pizza parlor with the arcade room on the side. This, this one got drenched in butter. This is number three or four, I'm not sure. This one right here. This could be served at any restaurant and you wouldn't know it's a buffet style lobster. Ooh, wee! Do the lobster tails. Mm. 
know what it is too? Uh, a tail, please. Woo, thank you. Whoa, look at this one. This one even looks better than the last one I had. All right, yes. now get a little piece of crispy, please. Absolutely. Just a little piece, thank you. Is that okay for you? Yeah. This brisket was tender and juicy, but it was way too salty. This is the infamous pineapple dough whip. Wow. Good? Wow. Yeah. Intense, but delicate. It's, it tastes very crisp, very refreshing to the palate right now after all this rich food. Oh yeah, this is a, it's my first time having an official pineapple dough whip here. Um, this is good stuff. Mm. All right, we'll find out together. I'm hoping it's a cheesecake of some sort, but I don't think no, it is. I don't think it is. Yeah. It looks like a, a panna cotta. Maybe a, interesting. It looks like over, overnight oats. I'm sure you guys know all about that. Since you guys are, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, that's within their like lifestyle, I think. Davis, can you hold this for a second, please? You know, not just flex on me. <laughs> Thank you. This, the like kind of Filipino dessert. It's like mango. Oh. And then it's like the Filipino dessert. I forgot what it's called. Ah, it's called mango sago. Pero sobrang fancy ng dating nyan. We just toss our mango to break it apart, and we just scoop a bit of our fresh diced mango on top. Look at that. Oh my god, diba? Oh. All right, y'all. We did it. <laughs> Whew. All right. Is it worth it? Yes. Oh, and I got to show you the Thursday crab feast. It features Dungeness crabs, Jonah's crab claws, and the usual snow crab legs. I'll skip this one. I'd rather do the lobster on Wednesdays. And if it's a Wednesday, I'll pick this over Bacchanal Buffet. Any other day, I'll do Bacchanal. Except the holidays. Ooh, holidays Bacchanal is a mess. Just like any other buffets. Check out my Bacchanal and Win Buffet videos. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching. And please, come again. Bye-bye.